I'm Don Davis of Bob and Don Davis Photography and Design. Our primary focus and goal is to shoot beautiful moments and capture them for bride and grooms locally and around the world. We've been in the photography business for a long time, over 20 years as a photojournalist, but the last five, six, we've five. been focused on, on wedding and event photography. Post-production and Contracting, you know, pretty much everything that he doesn't do as a photographer, I do. She's the glue. I'm the glue. Um, so what do we like best about our business? It's kind of hard to say. I love the hugs that we get. Definitely, um, definitely. It's so amazing when you're at a wedding and you're shooting and you're, you know, you're, you exude your passion and your energy and I get excited about what we're capturing. And, you know, someone will walk up to you and say, man, I've been watching you and I know the pictures are going to be amazing. Like, how do you know it's... You know, I haven't shown you a frame. I had a lot of mentors in, in my career and in my life, and I just feel it's it's a natural progression to take what you learn and to pay it forward. I just think that we're all blessed with a particular gift, and once we realize what that gift is, it's no longer ours. It's ours to give back. Fellow explorers of light, I mean, um, you know, Joe Busink, he's a, he's a big photo hero of mine. Yervant, um, my, my my biggest mentor is John H. White, who I followed his career since I was a young kid reading the Chicago Daily News. You know, he had the biggest impact and influence on my photographic career. Our Davis Love Story workshops are usually two days. One day is full of lighting, uh, and day two is usually full of uh, sales, marketing, and branding. Our goal is to just to kind of be that spark that lights people's passion to to go forward. You know, it's we're just sharing everything that has worked with us and the mistakes we make. So hopefully other people can learn from you know what we've done and take away with what we share and apply what works for them to whatever may help them. You know, yeah, photography is a craft and you should master that craft. Always be learning on how to improve the quality of your imagery and your capture. You know, and your craft will then allow you to take that over into the sales and marketing. Taking the lighting and becoming a better photographer helps make you more confident in selling yourself. So uh, raising your prices is not always easy. A lot of times things are a leap of faith and having a, a huge desire and having the tenacity to move forward and not just sitting back thinking maybe you've got published once and now the doorbell should ring because that's not how it works. Well, uh, you know, I've been shooting Canon gear my entire career. I did have a, a short stint on the dark side, you know, played with Nikons for a little bit, but that was because that's the equipment I was given at the paper. But when I came time to spend my own money, I went back to Canon and I just love the glass. The lenses are just amazing, extremely sharp, and um, the bodies and the way the, equip the equipment is laid out, it's just very intuitive and it agrees with the way I think. You know, they're all great cameras, but you have to choose the tool that's best for you. Well, I only shoot with two bodies because really the camera just captures what my eye and my mind is already seeing. So I have one usually always with a 16 to 35 and that would be a full frame sensor like a 5D Mark II and the other is going to be a, a 1D series so currently the Mark IV and I would have the longer zoom 70 to 200 IS on there. So as I'm shooting and seeing I may be shooting with a wide shot and getting the scene in the bride and groom over here and then you see mom and dad reacting as the bride walks down the aisle and she starts getting teary eyed and instead of having to switch lenses I immediately just reach down without taking my eyes off my subject, pull up that 70 to 200 racket and boom, capture that moment. And then look over here and I see something look beautiful and wide and light and just constantly switching back and forth between the two bodies. I'm a firm believer in, in lighting. You know, lighting takes your images to the next level. It creates depth and dimension. And I love the creative lighting system with multiple wireless speed lights. And the way to really accomplish that goal is to use a radio trigger. And I happen to really love the way the radio poppers work. It's seamless. It allows me to have every feature and function that's built into the speed lights. And they've just been working flawlessly for me. So it allows me to put the light where I want it and create the light I want. We got a whole season full of weddings that we're excited about. We got one big one we can't really talk about. Maybe a couple more workshops coming up in the later fall, winter. And uh, we're gonna take a family vacation this year. 
That's a big goal. <laughs> and you know, it's it's always a struggle between balance and work, especially when you're passionate about what you do. But we want we want to continue that balance. And you know, we love doing pro bono work with nonprofit organizations where we can give back to the community through my talent of photography and Dawn's talent of design. design. Definitely. So we just did a big project for thirstreliefinternational.org where we went to Tanzania, Africa. We created a film and a book and a DVD with um, Jim Davis Higgs, Anton Lormar, and Kenny Kim, <clears throat> which is an excellent organization that provides clean water, clean, safe drinking water around the world. And Don and I put together the uh, idea and raised all the funds, and we all contributed our time and talents and gave back you know, in a, to an excellent organization. It's been amazing. We've had some really great opportunities. We've uh, photographed an event for Oprah Winfrey, uh, which has opened a lot of doors for us. Not that it did it themselves, but us having to knock on the doors of other event planners and, and, and venues. And we've had some really wonderful opportunities come uh, after that. We were blessed to photograph Eva Longoria and Tony Parker's wedding. Uh, for six days in Paris, and we've had some other big celeb weddings um, that have come our way. I always think about protecting the shoe, so you immediately take out the cards, download them, back them up multiple places, keep the safe, keep the shoot safe. So we treat each and every wedding that we do with that same care and same respect because people's images and their memories cannot be redone. So it's just as important for an A-list celebrity as it is for other people that trust us to photograph and capture their most important moments. Uh, you can find us at www.bobanddawndavis.com and we have a workshop website which is uh, www.davisworkshops.com. Come, come visit us. And check out our first book, Lights, Camera, Capture. Yay! I'm really proud of that. You know, it's, it's, uh, <laughs> It's the complete recipe. It's not just pretty pictures, but it's it, photographs showing how you can execute it, lighting diagrams, complete metadata. It's all there, so you can take your, your work to the next level. And it's Definitely. got an hour-long DVD Definitely. of one of our it's workshops. Definitely, an hour-long DVD. In behind there. the scenes of the workshop, which was pretty cool. Thanks for checking us out on dslruniversity.com. Thank you.